Hello everyone, my name's Matt Otley. I'm an author, illustrator and composer, and I live in glorious Bundjalung country in northern New South Wales. In 2021, author Meg McKinlay and I won Picture Book of the Year for this book, How to Make a Bird. The music you can hear is music I scored for performances of How to Make a Bird. I'm very excited about the 2023 theme, Read, Grow, Inspire. Let me tell you about the artwork that I've done for the 2023 theme. I began with the background. Sky and clouds have always represented for me the vastness of the universe and a wonder of learning and growing. Then I placed books in the image. Out of the top book in the stack grows a mystical seahorse. For many cultures, seahorses represent growth, strength, beauty and spirituality. Perfect for the themes of growing and inspiring. I then added all of the other elements of the picture. Have a fabulous reading, growing and inspiring year. The CBCA acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we meet today. We pay our respects to Elders past and present and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and their homelands. We honour our First Nations peoples as the first storytellers. Welcome to our 77th CBCA Book of the Year shortlist announcement. Congratulations to the entire thriving community of creatives, their publishers across Australia who entered their work. The CBCA would like to thank all of the hardworking judges who came from across Australia. The critiques of all of our 2023 Book of the Year shortlist can be found at cbca.org.au. Book of the Year, Older Readers. Ask No Questions, written by Eva Collins and published by Puncher and Watman. Completely Normal and Other Lies, written by Biffy James and published by Hardy Grant Children's Publishing. The Other Side of Tomorrow, written by Hayley Lawrence and published by Scholastic Australia. What We All Saw, written by Mike Lucas and published by Penguin Random House Australia. Neverlanders, written by Tom Taylor and illustrated by John Samariva, published by Penguin Random House Australia. The Greatest Thing, written by Sarah Winifred Searle and published by Alan and Unwin. Book of the Year, Younger Readers. The Way of Dog, written by Zana Freyland, illustrated by Sean Buckingham, published by University of Queensland Press. The Raven's Song, written by Zana Freyland and Bren McDibble, published by Alan and Unwin. Xavier in the Meantime, written by by Kate Gordon, published by Riveted Press. August and Jones, written by Pip Harry, published by Hachette Australia. Evie and Rhino, written by Nerida McMullen, illustrated by Astrid Hicks, published by Walker Books Australia. Runt, written by Craig Sylvie. Published by Alan and Unwin. Book of the Year, Early Childhood. Where the Lyrebird Lives, written by Vicky Conloy, illustrated by Max Hamilton, and published by Windy Hollow Books. Lionel and Me, written by Corrine Fenton, and illustrated by Tracy Grimwood, published by New Frontier Publishing. Market Day, Written by Carrie Galash, illustrated by Hannah Somerville, published by Hardy Grant Children's Publishing. Bev and Kev, written by Katrina Germain, illustrated by Mandy Foote, and published by Little Book Press. 
Jigsaw, A Puzzle in the Post, written and illustrated by Bob Graham, published by Walker Books Australia. Snap, written and illustrated by Anna Walker, published by Scribble Kids Books. Picture Book of the Year Frank's Red Hat, written and illustrated by Sean E. Avery, published by Walker Books Australia. Farmhouse, written and illustrated by Sophie Blackle, published by Hachette Australia. Dirt by Sea, illustrated by Tom Jellett, written by Michael Wagner, published by Penguin Random House Australia. Owl Dreaming, illustrated by Dub Leffler, written by Curly Saunders, published by Scholastic Australia. Paradise Sands, a story of enchantment, written and illustrated by Levi Penfold, published by Walker Books Australia. My Strange Shrinking Parents, written and illustrated by Zeno Sorda, published by Keynes and Hudson Australia. Eve Pownall Award. Opal and Dart, written by Vianne Brain, illustrated by Claire Bradley, published by 40 South Publishing. Amazing Animal Journeys, written and illustrated by Jennifer Cossins, published by Hachette Australia. Wild Australian Life, Written by Leonard Cronin, illustrated by Chris Nixon, and published by Ellen and Unwin. Come Together, Things Every Aussie Kid Should Know About the First Peoples. Written by Isaiah Firebrace, illustrated by Jalen BMY, published by Hardy Grant Explore. A is for Australian Reefs. Written and illustrated by Fran Lezak, published by Walker Books Australia. Deep Delve into Hidden Worlds, written and illustrated by Jess McGeekin, published by Wellbeck Publishing. CBCA Award for New Illustrator. Metropolis, illustrated by Ingrid Barkovia, published by Story Torch Press. We Are Australians, illustrated by Jandamara Cat, published by Wild Dog Books. There's No Such Book, illustrated by Jake A. Minton, published by Hardy Grant Children's Publishing. The Best Hiding Place, illustrated by Sylvia Morris, published by Affirm Press. Tiny Wonders, illustrated by Sally Solhan, published by University of Queensland Press. Australia From Dawn to Dusk, Illustrated by Brentos, published by Affirm Press. Congratulations, Book of the Year, Older Readers Shortlist. Congratulations, Book of the Year, Younger Readers Shortlist. Congratulations, Book of the Year, Early Childhood Shortlist. Congratulations, Picture Book of the Year shortlist. Congratulations, Eve Pownall Award shortlist. Congratulations, Award for New Illustrator shortlist. Our year of celebrating Australian literature has really only just started, and we do invite you all to read, grow, and inspire and deeply explore all the books that made our 2023 Notables list and our short list. Congratulations to all our creators. Have you registered your group of young voices for our Shadow Judging program? It's not too late. Visit shadowjudging.cbca.org.au for more information. 
the CBCA has a brand new online shop and we're excited to bring you all your favourites plus a whole range of new products to help you celebrate and make this year's book, Children's Book Week the best it can be. Jump across to store.cbca.org.au we thank the Children's Book Council of Australia Awards Foundation for their direct support of the Book of the Year Awards with our prizes. Thank you also to the creative minds and hands of those behind this presentation. Congratulations to all our 2023 Book of the Year shortlist winners. Thanks for joining us.